Jai Sri Gurudev. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you very much. So sweet, Kirtan. So beautiful. Because of your sweetness, Gurudev. Really? Mar you are great mercy. Uh, you, you are great mercy, not I. <laughs> We all have uh, we, every note and tone is coming from the heart when you hear me. Without yeah. you, I would be nothing, Guru Dave. Yeah. I'm so thankful to you. Yeah. And I need really, really, I need your blessings in my life. Otherwise, I cannot go on. Yeah. Your mercy that you always want to flow with your love, your sweetness. Yeah, you are the one who put it me in the channel of love. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm due to this, we cannot say thankful enough to be thankful enough because I'm, I'm, I hope that I can be grow in my consciousness to serve in a better way to Radha and Krishna. So by your blessing, I think my way will be very good. <laughs> and I believe in you, Gurudev, really. I, I need... Yes, Jananda Maharaj ki jai. Share something. Jai yeah. Gurudev. <clears throat> Can I share it a bit, Gurudev? Yes, I want to listen. Everyone wants to listen from you. I hope you <laughs> like it. Yes, everybody likes to listen, na? Jananda Maharaj. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yes, I know. I hope all glories to Jayananda Maharaj. Yes, we like to hear Jayananda Maharaj. So rare, so rare nowadays to hear him. So today, by the mercy of Sri Gurudev, I found in Chaitanya Charitamrita Manjari Baba's verses. Wow! Damn. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know you like it or not. I don't know, but I try to share. You say uh, nobody will like it. No, no, there is no doubt in that. So, but everybody loves. If somebody has Uttukarika Bharati, uh, page 86, and uh, bus 25. Wow. This is a very interesting bus, and Anandas Baba described a secret. Yeah. <clears throat> so maybe maybe I should read 85 page page 85 so Narottama das circle is Prarutana Praneshwari Eibara Karuna Koro More Dashante Turina Dari Anjari Maskake Dari Eijana Nibedana Kore O Queen of my life This time be merciful to me This person hold the sorrow between his teeth, holds his hands on the head while praying to you. <clears throat> Priya Sahachari Sange, Sevana Koribo Range, Anga Besha Koribeka Sadde, Lahko Ei Seva Kaje, Nija Pada Pankaje, Priya Sahachari Gana Maje. 
I will briefly serve you along with the clear circuit, dressing your limbs nicely. Keep me at your lotus feet for this devotion service amidst your beloved girlfriend. Sugandi Chandana, Mani Maya Abarana, Koshika Basana Nana Range, A Sab Seba Yara, Dashi Yeno Hao Tara, Anukshana Taki Tara Sange. I always stay with the Sakis as if I am their maid servant. Serving the divine couple with fragrant sandalwood pulp, jeweled ornaments, and silken garment. Rade Rade, Nanamatur. So, if the Nana Maharaj likes, so, Andaka Prabhu would like to read about that. Okay, okay. Then okay, you please. can leave a comment. Jarade. Okay. okay, please give it. <clears throat> So from where is better for you? This Jala Subasita. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Rade Rade to everyone. Rade Rade to the... <coughs> Jala Subasita Kori Ratana Bringare Bhari Karpura Vasita Guyapan E Sab Sajaya Dala Labanga Malati Mala Bakshya Dravya Nana Anupam. I fill up a jeweled pitcher with fragrant water and I prepare betel leaves that are scented with comfort. <clears throat> with string a garland of labanga and malati flowers, and I will prepare different matchless eatables. Sakira ingita hove, esab anibo kove, jogaibo lalitara kache. Narotama dasa koi, e i geno mora koi. Dada ia rahu sakira pace. When will I, on Saki's indication, bring all these things here and hand them Lalita. Narotamada says, May I then stand behind the Sakis waiting for orders? The next paragraph. This is a very interesting paragraph. Mm. This most confidential service of Sri Radha is the unique and unprecedented merciful gift of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Even after Sri Gora Sundara who is the combined form of Rasaraj Krishna, the king of relishes, and Mahabhava Radha, the embodiment of the topmost ecstatic love, fulfilled his three desires, he had the supreme savior of Manjari Bhava left to relish. <laughs> uh, 
this, ex, this ecstasy caused his transcendental limbs to slacken and to become disconnected. Jaiful. <laughs> and this ecstasy caused him to contract his limbs like a turtle. Mm. Srila Rupa Goswami in his intim is his intimate associate. Hence he prays with his heart okay. like this. Mm. Yes. So this is a very interesting. So Gora Sundara, who is combined from Rasaraj and Mahababa, fulfilled his three desires. He had the supreme savor of Manjari Baba left to relish. So this is very interesting. Anantadas Baba is saying, Mahaprabhu not, not only fulfilled his three desires, but he has, he had the supreme savor of Manjari Baba left to relish. And then, this ecstasy caused his transcendental limb to slacken and to become disconnected. And this ecstasy caused him to contract his limbs like a turtle. This is very much interesting for me. <clears throat> Before I was thinking like this, but I could not assert this is not, this is correct or not. But Ananda's Baba clearly mentioned why Mahaprabhu limbs to slacken or sometimes to become disconnected. Sometimes his body become like a tattoo. <clears throat> so then, if we see Chaitanya Charitamrita, <clears throat> last time I show another bus, so today I want to share uh, Ancharira. 17th chapter, <clears throat> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's body changed. This Lord body transformations, this chapter. Janandaji. Oh. Uh, we will we will find we have book here. Okay. This is Antarira, 17th chapter. 17th. Until you love 17th. Just maybe uh -huh. we can do it from beginning, maybe. Mm -hmm. this, not a big thing. Okay. Just translation is okay. <clears throat> Antia 17. Okay, it's here. Yes. The bodily the bo transformations. Oh, yes. The bodily transformations of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So just read through. Yes. Okay. So we are reading Prabhupada's Chaitanya Charitamrita. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur gives the following summary of the 17th chapter of his 
Amrita, in his Amrita Pravaha Bhashya. Absorbed in transcendental ecstasy, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went out one night without opening the doors mm. of his room. After crossing over three walls, he fell down among some cows belonging to the district of Tailanga. There, he remained unconscious, assuming the, the aspect of a tortoise. Text 1. Translation. I am simply trying to write about Lord Gora Chandra's transcendental activities and spiritual madness, which are very wonderful and uncommon. I dare to write of them only because I have heard from the mouths of those who have personally seen the Lord's activities. All glories to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. All glories to Lord Nityananda. All glories to Advaita Chandra. And all glories to all the devotees of the Lord. Absorbed in ecstasy, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu acted and talked like a madman day and night in the company of Swarup Damodar Goswami and Ramananda Raya. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu once passed half the night talking about the pastimes of Lord Krishna. As they talked of Krishna, Swarup Damodar Goswami would sing songs exactly suitable for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's transcendental emotions. The compliment to complement the ecstasy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Ramananda Raya would quote verses from the books of Vidyapati and Chandidas, and especially from Gita Govinda by Jayadev Goswami. At intervals, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would also recite the verse. Then, in great lamentation, he would explain it. In this way, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu passed half the night experiencing varieties of emotions. Finally, after making the Lord lie down on his bed. Swarup Damodar and Ramananda Raya returned to their homes. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's personal servant, Govinda, lie down at the door of his room and the Lord very loudly chanted the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra all night. Suddenly, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard the vibration of Krishna's flute. 
Then, in ecstasy, he began to depart to see Lord Krishna. All three doors were fastened as usual, but Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in great ecstasy, nevertheless, got out of the room and left the house. He went to a cow shed on a southern side of the Simhadvara. There, the Lord fell down unconscious amongst, among cows from the district of Tailanga. Meanwhile, not hearing any sound from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Govinda immediately sent for Swarup, da Swarup Damodar and opened the doors. Then Swarup Damodar Goswami lit a torch and went out with all the devotees to search for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. After searching here and there, they finally came to the cow shed near the Simhadwara. There, they saw Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu lying unconscious among the cows. His arms and legs had entered the trunk of his body exactly like those of a tortoise. His mouth was foaming. There were eruptions on his body and tears flooded from his eyes. As the Lord lay there unconscious, his body resembled a large pumpkin. Externally, he was completely inert, but within, he felt overwhelming transcendental bliss. All the cows around the Lord were sniffing his transcendental body. When the devotees tried to check them, they refused to give up their association with the transcendental body of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The devotees tried to rouse the Lord by various means, but his consciousness did not return. Therefore, they all lifted him and brought him back home. All the devotees began to chant the Hare Krishna mantra very loudly in the Lord's ears. And after a considerable time, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu regained consciousness. When he regained consciousness, his arms and legs came out of his body and his whole body returned to normal. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu stood up and then sat down again, looking here and there. He inquired from Swarup Damodar, where have you brought me? After no. he, do I break? Mm. Okay, okay. Mm. okay. So, uh, 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 please read it at uh, 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 After hearing, the vibration of a flute. I went to Vrindavan 
and there I saw that Krishna, the son of Maharaj Nanda, who was playing on his flute in the pasturing grounds. So from this verse to 26 verse, it's very carefully we have to listen. Okay. Mm. Could you read the verse again from this verse? Mm. 23. Mm -hmm. So, after hearing the vibration of a flute, I went to Vrindavan. And there I saw that Krishna, the son of Maharajananda, was playing on his flute in the pasturing grounds. He brought Srimati Radharani to a bower by signaling with his flute. Then he entered within that bower to perform pastimes with her. I entered the bower just behind Krishna. My ears captivated by the sound of his ornaments. I saw Krishna and the gopis enjoying all kinds of pastimes while laughing and joking together. Hearing their vocal expressions enhanced the joy of my ears. Yes, so this, if we, if we hear this very carefully, especially 24 bars, this Bengali is very interesting. Sanketa benu nade lada ani kunja gare. Kunjere charira krishna krida karibare. So he brought Shrimati Radhanani to the kunja by signaling with his fruit. Then he entered within the kunja to performing pastime with her. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu <coughs> is watching this one. So he's a seer of his pastime. So we can remember Manjari is a seer. So after doing pastime, Manjari is a seer and after some pastime or during Whatever they need, Manjari or Kinkari serve them, serve Radha Mohan. And the next bus also. Mm -hmm. I enter the Bawa, I enter Kunja, just behind Krishna. My ear captivate, captivated. I captivated the sounds of his ornament. Radha Mohan, they have do some pastime in Kunja. So Mahaprabhu enter and listening and seeing. Then next bus, Gopi Gana Saha Bihara Hasha Pari. Asa, kanta dvani uti shuni mora karuno rasa. I saw Krishna and the gopis enjoying all kinds of pastimes while laughing and joking together, hearing their vocal expressions enhanced the joy of my ear.
This Gopi Gana Saha. Interesting. Then Mahaprabhu is watching Radha and Mohan, etc. So this bus for me, it seems Manjari is seeing Radha Mohan's pastime. So Mahaprabhu was, was tasting as Manjari, the seer of their pastimes. Then his body become like a turtle because so much ecstasy Mahaprabhu is tasting. And this is interesting, another, another one. Uh, say, Chaitanya Charitamita, first bus, again we did. Bikyate Shurira Gorendo. Atchat, Atchat Bhutan, Arokikan. Yai Durishtan, Tam Mukat Churutuba. Dibbon Mada. Dibbon Amada, Bichestita. This describes Dibya Amada. <laughs> Amada is, it is described as symptom of Mahababa. Especially Adirutta Mahababa Mohan. Mohan means separating, they are not meeting. So Mahaprabhu was describing, uh, no, Mahaprabhu is expressing in the symptom of Mahababa, especially I think this Mohan or Modana. So my feeling after reading this pass, also after reading Anantas Bhaj Maharaj comment, Again, this is 86 page. Mm -hmm. So could you, and could you read again? Mm -hmm. and page 86. This most confidential service. Yes, again. Mm -hmm. This most confidential service of Sri Radha is the unique and unprecedented merciful gift of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Even after Shigora Sundara, who is the combined form of Rasaraj and Mahabhava, fulfilled his three desires, he had the supreme savor of Manjari Bhava left to relish. This ecstasy caused his transcendental limbs to slacken and to become disconnected. And this ecstasy caused him to contract his limbs like a turtle. So, this, today, I, this share, I don't know, you, you may have a different idea, but uh, for me, this is, uh, Mahaprabhu was exhibiting, is, uh, and also, he's sewing as Manjari, seeing uh, Radha Mohan's pastime, and uh, he's tasting so much ecstasy as Manjari, like Manjari Baba. Of course, uh, unless someone who does not have this Manjari Baba, we don't, we may not understand, but Ananta Das Baba Maharaj give us some hint to 
to Asatun. Uh, Manjari Baba in Chaitanya Charitamrita. This is uh, for me <laughs> very much interesting. Mm. So I don't know if there's some some person, if some feeling, please share uh, some. I you know, I just uh, felt oh this is uh, interesting. Anantans Babaji Maharaj was suggesting Mahaprabhu's uh, Rade. Yes. Jai Ho. <clears throat> of course, when Ananta does Babaji writing this, then we accept that. But I have a question. So, Mahaprabhu, he wanted to fulfill his three desires. And he completed this. And then there is something left, Manjari Bhav. So he tried to understand the feelings of Radharani. So every day he going to Gadata Pandit, Tota Gopina Temple, and he listen Bhagavata from Radharani. Then he go in the Gambira. He practice that. And Ramananda Rai and Swarup Tamura, they nourished his feelings by speaking verses from Bhagavatam, singing songs. So we can see here that Mahaprabhu, he had some teachers. They gave him something that he can work on in the night. And they supported him. Ramananda and Swarup Damodal, Alita and Visaka, they could help him to understand feelings of Radharani, mm -hmm. like Sakis, her friends. But if Mahaprabhu tastes Manjari Bhav, who teach him that? Where he got it from? It manifests in himself. Or who could give him something to work in Manjari Bhav? That is my question. <laughs> Interesting question. So, this is my understanding like this. My understanding and my feeling like this. Krishna has Krishna and Radharani sometimes meeting, sometimes separating by the arrangement of Saki and Manjaris. So, <clears throat> even during the past time, Nikunja past time, of course, Krishna, like, uh, so th these days we are discussing, especially Goranga Sundara Pabu, we are discussing Prema Birasa Bibarta. So, Radharani, or even Krishna, Radharani become mad ready. Sometimes Radharani is sitting on the lap of Krishna. Or well, maybe lie, or sometimes may lie down. And then if some word is coming, oh, Mother Sudan is gone. And Radharani become mad. Completely forget Krishna's presence. Lada Krishna presence, but Lada feel different way. And then Lada and Krishna 
does not want to stop Radha Rani's feeling. So he said, don't disturb Swamini, our Swamini. So at that time, Krishna has some, Krishna experience Radha Rani's madness, especially Madanake Mahababa. So he wants to know Radharani's glory of love. Uh, what is uh, my beauty, my attractiveness? I want to taste Radha's feeling. This is three reasons to appear Mahaprabhu. Well, also, it's not mentioned in Shastra, but Krishna sometimes saw Manjari's seva. And Krishna is thinking, oh, why Manjari is so blissful? Why Manjari is so loyal to my Swamini? So Krishna has some kind of some desire. Why Manjari is feeling so, so, so blissful to serving Radha and me, Radha and Moha? Like, pra, eh, Prabodana Saraswati, according to Gora Gunodesha Deepika, it is uh, his uh, Tunga Vidya Saki. Why become, <laughs> why become like a, like a, like Manjari? If we read Radara Sudhasin, uh, uh, Sudhanidi, he want to become Dashi of Radarani, not a friend of Radarani. This is my understanding. Saki is, is seeing pastime of Radha and Mohan. Many places, sometimes Radha Kunda, sometimes Gobardan, sometimes near Jamuna. But the Saki also could understand. Actually, we cannot enter Nikunja. We cannot enter Nibrit Nikunja, but Manjari can enter. What they are tasting, what kind of secret they are, some of Saki is curious to know. So, one Saki, Tunga Bidya Saki, was really curious to know. So, he want to, he want to serve Mahaprabhu pastime. At that time, by the mercy of Mahaprabhu, he want to, or she want to, <laughs> taste the glory of Manjari, a feeling of Manjari, Baba. So similarly, Krishna also may think like this. Why? This Manjari, who is so much loyalty to my Swamini, my, my Radha. What they are tasting? If we taste Radha, if we want to know Radha Rani, they automatically Automatically, he want to know <laughs> Radha's very close friend, Kinkari and Manjari. That's my my understanding, my my un, my feeling. If somebody know more, <laughs> please please correct, please please share. Radha, Radha. So I'm not sure, but uh, I would like to add. Uh, I try to add 
and uh, from Chaitanya Charitamrita Adiri Rafo and verse from 265 means uh, the last point, last part of Adiri Rafo. Here is one point I think. So if you like, uh, maybe share, maybe read it. Sure. Rade, Rade, maybe I want to stay yes. in this subject. I have, I want to know more. Yes, oh. of course, Krishna, he is watching the service of the Manjari. He tries to paint the feet of Radharani and he cannot do it. And then Manjari is doing that. And Krishna is in ecstasy. I also want that, but I'm not qualified. Of course, but he has to learn it also from someone. Like Prabodhananda, Saki, okay. But he wants to practice Manjari Bhav, so he got mercy of Mahaprabhu. There's also the principle of following someone to get the mood, the bath, like a guru. But who teach Manjari Bhav to Mahaprabhu? He manifests from himself or who gave him that to practice? Who was his guru of Manjari Bhav? Krishna don't know it. He want to taste it, but who will teach him? So this is still my question. It's not clearly answered. I don't have answer, but it's interesting. This is, this is honestly speaking, Rupa and uh, Rupa Ragnata. They must teach. Therefore, when Mahaprabhu met Rupa Sanatana, especially Rupa Sanatana, Mahaprabhu told them, Oh, you are my old friend. Of course, of course, super, you know, super, uh, superficially, Mahaprabhu's guru and uh, Rupa Sanatana recognized his shisha. But, uh, you know, Mahaprabhu went to, every day Mahaprabhu went to see Haridas Thakur, the place. Sometimes Rupa Goswami is there with Haridas Thakur. So, <coughs> Mahaprabhu's, Mahaprabhu's Ratiyatara festival, he was singing very interesting song. Ordinary fiction's bus. Nobody understand that meaning. And then <laughs> Rupa Goswami wrote similar bus. And put on the, on the, on the roof of the hut. And Mahaprabhu found out. And then Mahaprabhu shocked because Rupa Goswami knows Manja, uh, uh, Mahaprabhu's heart. Then after bathing, after, you know, and then meeting Rupa Manjari, he slapped Rupa Goswami's chip. Why you know? Why you know in my heart? And then Mahaprabhu asked Swarupa Damodara, Hey Swarupa, Rupa, Rupa goes, Rupa knows my heart. Why is that? Why Rupa knows my heart? Nobody knows my heart. And Swarupa Damodara said, if Rupa knows your heart, then you must, you must give the mercy to Rupa. That is, that is Swarupa Damodara's words. So this is like, you know, like a Manjari and Radharani, or sometimes Guru and Shisha, sometimes, you know, both kind of deflecting. Interaction always there. Of course, <laughs> Radharani and Rupa 
、えー、のルーパーマンジャリー、ラバンガマンジャリー、ラティマンジャリー、they're very close. So, in the book, we, 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 you know, is not mentioned, but,、uh, you know, surely something, you know, happening. That is my feeling. I have one thought. <laughs> so, very nice. Go ahead. So, you also cannot find in Shastra, but coming to me, I like to share. So, Mahaprabhu, his combined form of Radha and Krishna. So, Radharani in Mahaprabhu. He g i v e the mercy to Rupa and Sanatan to teach in the world and to bring Manjaripa, Rupa Nuga, that coming from Radharani. And at the same time, the Krishna in Mahaprabhu, he got the association of the Manjari that he can practice Manjaripa. Possible. <laughs> Maybe. No? Krishna is there. He g e t association of Manjari. So then he can practice that also. Yes. Today, Kishori, Kishori has a very interesting comment to me. Kishori, could you just explain Panch, about Panchatatva? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this morning I got、uh, one inspiration. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I don't want to open, but if you say so, I have to say. <laughs> so this morning I got one inspiration. Actually, Pancha Tattva wants to show us Manjari Baba. Why? Only Manjari can see everything. Like this now, Chaitanya Chaitamrita, Anchalita 17 verse also. Only Manjari can see everything, see the seer. Means, so when we can see Pancha Tattva, means we became seer. That's why this Pancha Tattva means,、uh, means, Which kind of gradient of Lira? What is the gradient of Lira? Panchatatva shows us this. Actually, I couldn't catch this point before, just now. But after this conversation, this inspiration c o m e to my heart. This is the gradient of Lira Panchatatva. Yes, you are. So, because, say, Unna to Jaru Rasa, Manjari Baba, no other incarnation given to us. This, this Baba Mahaprabhu w a n t to distribute. He does not care any qualification. Right? So, surely, Pancha Tattva also knows. Because Mahaprabhu said, I am gardener. I, I got many fruits of Prema. But by, by my, only myself, how can I distribute it? Please take it and distribute it. This is Mahaprabhu's order, right? So, very interesting. After thinking, at least Nityananda is Ananga Manjari. So, he distributed Nityananda Paribar, distributed Manjari Baba, right? Even Advaita Paribar, they also distributed Manjari Baba. 
英文ガダダラパンディット。This is not very sure. <laughs> not very sure, but must. This is my guess. Advice, you know, God, even Gadara Pandit also distributed. So <laughs> this thing is coming to also me. This is very interesting. So, so. I see this Panchatatova after just inspiration. I cannot say any reason logically, but after that, I see Panchatatva automatically <laughs> only Manjari Baba. I can see from this Panchatatva. I don't know why. Sorry, I cannot explain nicely. Just please. Thank you for all your beautiful insights and feelings and beautiful how you explain this Mahaprabhu as a last he wants to relish this manjari bath. It's such a sweet feeling to go into this meditation. And Gora Chandra, very nice how you were going, how, where he learned it. Okay, on one hand, we can see, say that it was his sweet desire he had, you know. They are, they, are, they are like a holy trinology, the Radha, Mohan, and the Mantaris. And on the un other hand, I was thinking they are eternally connected, they are eternally feeling each other. Because they are not separable. They cannot be separated. And then we have, if we look from the point of Gora Lila, there is Nityananda. Nitai is Adanga Manjari. She is also a Manjari. So Nitai and Gaur are not different. So also we could feel it like this. If there's anything that should have been learned which is not recorded in the books because the books are kadachas, they are limited. They are the, you know, daily written, just like the Bible. Something got lost. Many things got burned also in the beginning of, you know, after Mahaprabhu left, many books were burned. That is uh, something else. But I think... Nitai is so close to Gora and they meet. And when we read this in Chaitanya Chaitamrita, this is also like Ananga Manjari is meeting Radha. So Ananga Manjari knows everything. She is also, you know, a Manjari. So that could be also another kind of meditation to go deep into this because she has the feelings and the realization of the Manjaris also. Jaiho, very nice. Yes, I forget nice. about Nitai. Mm -hmm. Of course, Ananga Manjari. She knows also. <laughs> very nice. Thank you. <laughs> so <neat. Very> nice. <laughs> and uh, so I said uh, um, one uh, one point from uh, I want to share this uh, Adira for last point. Uh, may I share about this uh, Manjari Baba? So, could you read from this uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita Adirira uh, for bus uh, 265? With Bengali? Yes. Oh. Thank you. I'm not good, but please uh, forgive my try and please correct me. 265. Yes. Adirila, chapter 4, text. 265. Raga Marge Bhakta Bhakti Kare Je Prakare Taha Shikaila Lila Acharana Dware. I thought 
devotional service that springs from the devotee's spontaneous love by demonstrating it with my pastimes. Mm -hmm. So, in English translation, Srila Prabhupada said this from the devotee's spontaneous love. But I think this Bengali very clear. Raga Marke Bhakta means Chaitanya Mahaprabhu want to show Raganuga Bhakti it with his pastime. And then Eitina Trishna Mora Nahila Purana Vijatiya Bhave Nahe Taha Aswadana. But these three desires of mine were not satisfied. For one cannot enjoy them in a contrary position. Radhikara bhava kanti angikara vina seitina sukha kabunahe aswadane. Unless I accept the luster of the ecstatic love of Sri Radhika, these three desires cannot be fulfilled. And here written in Bengali, Radhikara Baba Kanti. Who can understand Radhika Baba most? And then? Mm. Radha Bhava Angikari Dhari Taravarna Tina Sukha Aswadite Bhaba Avatirna. Therefore, assuming Radharani's sentiments and bodily complexion, I shall descend to fulfill these three desires. So here again, Radha Baba is written in Bengali. Means uh, what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu show us, what, what he want to show us is Raganuga Bhakti, especially Radha Baba, but we cannot become Radha, means he want to show Manjari Baba. That's why as this last point, he will show us this Manjari Baba. So this is what I feel from this verse. So maybe please add what correct. If I, I'm not sure you are satisfied on Radha Radha. Yes, I would have a question to Gurudev in this connection. Uh, Jayananda was actually bringing up. They are all in Manjuri Bath and they all distribute Manjuri Bath. Um, so Vishaka sometimes is also called the first uh, expansion of Radha. So Ananga Mandri is also the first. So how can we see this connection? Because Ramananda Roy is also here playing the role of a maid servant of the gopis when he prepares his two ladies for the drama. So how can we see this connection?
actually Vishakha energy they are keeping. Because Vishakha is Sakti also. So, Ananga Manjari also. Sakti Bhav and special one Manjari Bhav. Vishakha is Vishakha and Ramananda also Vishakha. Bhav is this, na? This bhav, thousands can keep, na? Vishakha bhav. Among manjari bhav and manjari bhav is a feeling, right? In no need to become Vishakha, this feeling has to be similar to Radhi, right? So would it be possible as Sanjari Bhav that Vishaka is also taking Mandri Bhav in this Lila? Vishaka is same like what he has to give. Vishaka is very close to Radhi and very similar nature of Radhi. Very sweetness and very soft. So, like Radhika, more soft than Radhika. And similar, all expansion also like this. But this not going to work to control Krishna. Lalita is important, that nature is important. So even the Radhika is listening to Lalita. He said, become angry now. <laughs> and then she become angry. And she, she want to lose, to come out from angerness, but she cannot because she has to follow that to keep angerness because Laita order. And Manjari goes to recommend to Laita, please say to Radha Rani to for, not be angry more. When she say that, so like this, nature wise was fixed different, different. And Radha close, Radha like Radha has to be now. Radhika similar nature. You see, Ramanan so humble. Nityananda very. Always ready to serve and humble. This nature, this character, I know. Yeah? There.
Guru, maybe that is also achintya. It's in, it's incomprehensible. But if you ask me, if we compare Vishaka to Ananga Manjari, I think Ananga Manjari is more close because she is more similar because she is hidden and she is uh, also a Manjari. And Vishaka is a Saki. She has different different uh, tasks. Right. What do you feel? Yes, right. They are all Nitya Siddhas. So right. today I announced also for other devotees who all want to ask questions. If you give permission, then I would like to invite devotees to ask questions now. Permission? All if you to. give, if you give permission, all then all give permission, good. If we can ask all other devotees, hmm? and good, and what they like to share, share. Yes. All this here and enlighten. Yes, don't be shy. Everybody, please come and ask a question or share. Try to do like a story is doing, trying to do a first. There is no judgment here. All our feeling, we can share it. Right, Jananda Maharaj. Desires are there. So one day, goal will also come. Naran Maharaj said, greed is necessary. This is the place for them to grow the greed on. When greed will come, mercy will still come in our life. Right, so Yes, good so can, I ask, can I ask some trivial question? What about what is the meaning of this turtle form? I mean, there is the one of the Dasa avatars, but if Mahaprabhu assumes this form, is there any meaning that he like turns he, he himself into inside and maybe gets us uh, like a strong back or sh a turtle shell or somehow? <laughs> this 
this is the feeling, my dear. This feelings so much increase on Mahaprabhu in his bhava of Dasi bhava. Mahaprabhu is Radha and Krishna Mixna, but in Dasi bhava, when he comes, Manjari bhava, he starts relishing that feeling. And this relishing, this feeling, make out of control because in this manjari bhav there is more ecstasy than radha manjaris are more excited when she see the exchange of radha and krishna and their service of much extra and ordinary so Mahaprabhu, when re realize it, and then he gave to his followers, to his Goswamis, to help with the Unnat Ujjwal Rasa. Ujjwal Rasa was there. Their loving exchange was before also there. But when he relished himself, as a Dasi, although he is he, a Radhika, he is giving the relishment of Radhika. But as a Radha, when she goes in that Manjari to feel it, that how Manjaris are relishing to me and to Krishna, she are become ecstasy to feel that Manjari how inside. So it is his, she lose all his consciousness and he's become losing all his joints and everything. Bhava Vesh, this is in Hindi, what you say in English, I don't know. This happened to Absorption and feeling out of control. Yes, deep absorption on highest feeling. It's very difficult to see in a European world, but if you come to Braja and meet with Rasikas, then your good luck can. Sri Radha, but nobody can do like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But something you can see the ecstasy sometime. So it's too much ecstasy that would even uh, create bodily transformation. Is maybe similar with Krishna and Jagannath when he melt? Yeah, you can see. Jagannath, why melt? Because Mother Rohini, or who Mother or someone is talking about Queens of Dwarka is asking the Braja Leela. So she is explaining. So she sent Subhadra. Two person cannot enter, then I can say. So Subhadra went to the gate because sister can stop brother. Nobody can stop Krishna and Balram to enter. And Subhadra is standing. And the moment Krishna and Balram come, she blocked. So she is always in center. And Krishna is Balram, is others, both sides.
are listening. So, but in the assembly of Mahaprabhu, this is a much broader audience. And what is the effect on, on the Goswamis and everyone for, for Tanya Leela? You cannot be live without sitting in Vyana. And, and you never come to Vrindavan. What to say? Well, one time. You have to move from your research center. Understand? Then you will understand. Come out in picture. You are very impersonal. How you will realize it? Jamaraj, here. Yeah. You see this? It's a Dibya Prem. See <laughs> Now he changed his name 3D. He began. Now, Maharaj. <laughs> das Anu Das. That's why it's 3Ds. <laughs> okay. Dandavar word to all Vaishnava and to say Dandavar word to all Vaishnava and try to take the center of Vaishnava. One day you will understand. Right. So, and is there a difference between the, those two lila, or what? What can be the, the same? Can uh, I cannot understand. Austrians cannot understand these things. You have to come. Someone has to come visit. Actually, yeah. here <laughs> we're and left you, out in the desert. Oh my God! <laughs> as you are desert, how you can understand this? Sweetness, love. You have to move. Yes. Acha, ask Susuniti or Jananda Mukha. Ask, he will answer. But you know, only you gather information, that's the problem. You have to practice also. Avoid to gather information, try to realize it, my dear. Yes, good. If in your in your advice and in your answers, there's always the mercy to reach the goal. So everything touched. what you were saying is giving us it, also not only gathering information. Gathering information, how much I can gather information? Computer can gather more information, right? But she has a feeling, why you want to gather information? Why you want to become a computer? Develop your feeling, my dear. Take the center of Pradhima. Mercy receive. Try to follow Rupanuga. You have a nice association of Muni Maharaj and Sadhu. Do it. Uh, 
Radhe Radhe, can I say something? Uh, please correct me if something is wrong. Uh, um, like Gora Chandra said, that uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu before every evening he was uh, listening to Shimad Bhagavatam from Gadadhar, and after that he was assisting during the night between Shaka and Lalita, Ramananda Roy and Damodar uh, to, to get all these um, feelings which because of these feelings he come like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So uh, there is the mention uh, um, Jananda was reading uh, that this night when it's happened that uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu feel the feelings of Manjari and Anantadas Babaji said that these symptoms are symptoms of Manjari ecstasy. So uh, this night it's happened that uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, even if he was closed with three doors and they still remain closed, he just uh, disappeared from these rooms. So uh, this uh, consideration, it's given me something like a hint uh, to think that when uh, Manjari desires come, they can do even impossible things, like in the case of Prabhupada. So mm, Radhika have big desire to satisfy Krishna, but uh, Manjari have even more desire to satisfy Radharani. So mm, just uh, this uh, this situation, this description, it's uh, give my mind to think in this way. Radhe. Radhe. This is good, really. The Manjari has more, more closeness. Radha Rani has a Krishna closeness. Krishna has Radha closeness. But Manjari has Radha and Krishna both feelings that she watched. So she is very deep fortunate that she knows the feeling of both of them. So Mahaprabhu goes in ecstasy when he rallies, then he sees that even the Radha Rani was radishing, more higher manjaris are radishing. Uh, so he goes in ecstasy. Radha can go in ecstasy, you can imagine. By radishing the manjari bhav. And this is the gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to our fallen soul. We are so foolish that we not try to to practice and live in this consciousness. Why we are wasting time for nothing, we don't understand. Ananda Bhavaji writing, this is the body, Bhavateha. Is a not physical body. This is the feeling body. Feeling becomes so condensed that is my body. Feeling in Radha Dasi so condensed, so condensed, so condensed that it takes the bhav.
Wow, Gurudev. That's amazing. And I was also feeling in this uh, kind of meditation that uh, Dayanidhi uh, was mentioning. When we meditate about Nitai, he also had these times where he became transcendental to the body. He would jump on the, on the trees with the children who were listening to him. And then they were, uh, you know, dancing on the very small branches of the trees. So again, I was thinking this Ananda, you know, of course, the bodies are Satchit Ananda. They are transcendental, like you said, Gurudev, but Ananda means also without the body. So when they, when Radha and Mohan are together, they become Ananda, like in our Kama, Kama Gayatri, they become bodiless. So when Mahaprabhu came into this mood, then he loses all, you know, 3D dimensions. And he had to run away also from uh, Vishaka and even Lalita because they never come into Nivriti Nikunj. And I like that, that, keep, that kept in my consciousness when uh, Godavani was uh, telling this other day, he was always going to the ocean because in the ocean he could also become Ananga. He could easily transform all his ecstasies and all the different, different appearances of the body. So he was also trying to leave behind the kunj and the nikunj to go into nivritti nikunj. I love to meditate on this when he goes in the ocean, in the high waves. Yeah. 